Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Plays Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. Today we're in free time again. Now I'm assuming Chiaki is probably going to be like, yo dog, no. Oh, I'm going to check out all these rooms though. Beforehand. Um, so we can go in here finally. I'm pretty sure, there might have already been a comment, it's like you already got all the Mon Monokuma stuff, but I still want to at least double check just in case. Um, you never know, at the same time. Gotta be a little, little bit cautious. So, we've been in Sony's room, and we've been into the standard room here. Let's check out Chiaki's room. I wonder if she has a handheld on her. I mean, I have a couple of game systems on, a, on me. If she wanted one, I could give her one. But no, Miss probably doesn't want to hang out until we get out of here. Um, we'll check again. Obviously. 126 steps. Uh, can I actually check the map for the other area? The answer may surprise you. Or not, but we can't. Oh, shit. Well, it did say 7 or 8. I pressed the wrong goddamn button. I was I was just I was trying to clean up the poop and I gave her a gift. So I think it's at seven or eight. I haven't checked again. There was a there was a seven in there. Uh anyway, I'm gonna go check if Chiaki wants to hang out. She probably doesn't. If not, we're gonna come back up here to uh the lounge where Akane is. So before I get on the elevator, like literally as I press the button, you are now an egg. Well, okay, not an egg. You are now a cocoon. What's it gonna be? What? How many uh, steps is it? A hundred. So, not that long from now. And Chiaki was like, uh, I'm thinking of things. Let's hang out after we get out of here. Now, hopefully that's not a bad sign. And she's she just doesn't want to hang out because she's not feeling it. Or she's just, you know, overthinking. Not overthinking things, but it's like using her time to think about how to get out of here. That's cool. I know in the first game, you could hang out with characters when they were feeling depressed and it would not allow you to advance their, like, friendship meter. So, I I appreciate it if the game had changed that, because... Obviously, I want to advance the friendship stuff, but at the same time... Um, it is kind of realistic if you hang out with someone who's depressed and, you know, obviously... Might not get... Well, no, that's not even completely true. You probably... If you're hanging out with someone who's in a bad place, you actually probably grow closer after they get through that bad place, maybe? In some of my experiences, anyways. And some of the other ones... Well, they just never get out of that bad place. Anyways, Akane! I'm starting to get pumped up! Coach Nekomaru must be way stronger now that he's a robot. Would you like to hang out with me instead? I see. Well, there's nothing to do anyways. I guess I can hear you out every now and then. Oh, now I gotta give you a gift. So you like food. Food? Non-alcoholic wine. Uh, chocolate chip jerky? So I do have food. I'm sure, oh, baguette. So, so one of these, yeah? Sweet bun bag? Potato chips? So, she has to like something here, right? If anything, okay, that sounds fucking disgusting, to be quite honest. Is it just chocolate chip meat? I can't get, I don't think I can give that. I might give that to her. I, I don't know, that sounds so bad. Maybe just give her chips. Ah, that's probably better. That's probably a better idea. Sunflower seeds? Those are good. I like sunflower seeds. Um, I don't have them that often, but I like them. Secret boots? Fake their height. That's something we should have given to Hiyoko or for Yuhiko. Um, she doesn't seem the type for jewelry. Is there any workout stuff? We want, we, we pass some binding stuff, right? Fresh bindings? Oh, no, this is just different. That's not workout stuff, I think. Um, 
This is a fighting thing? Oh, this is an ultimate masseuse. Um, masseuse. I guess I'll just look, uh, look around, I guess. I'll probably end up giving her some food, though. Unless I find something that's completely, like, made for fighting. Let's just give her the jerky. Yeah, that's probably accurate, right? She probably likes all this stuff, I would imagine. But, I don't know. I don't really know. Yeah, I, don't, I guess jerky probably... I don't know. Most men have lost everything after betting they could only eat just one. What does that mean? <laughs> Is that a Pringles reference? It sounds like a Pringles reference. Sure, I guess. Let's just give her the meat. And then maybe... We get a lot of stuff, so... Oh, not there. Oh, you giving me this? You're the only one eating now, Akane. I hope you like it. You know me so well, thanks. You. You look pretty bummed. Are you even eating? Um, Hank? Now you're just messing. You're doing this on purpose. My name is Hajime. You, know, I only, you only get the H right. More importantly, why are you so full of energy? <laughs> is it an obvious? There's yummy food, soft blankets. My room doesn't leak when it rains. This place is way better than when I grew up. That's depressing. Seri seriously? Even in this kind of situation? Um... Huh, you know how it is. And it's not that strange to find a dead body at the dump in the morning. Where are you from? Uh. That tragic place where crappy people are all swept together. Stuff like that happens all the time. How can you say that like it's no big deal? What kind of environment was she raised in? Anyway... Oh, anyway... Since we never had any money, I did whatever I could to earn cash. I even sold my used panties to this nosy, uh, nosy pig who kept oinking panties panties. By the time I was able to legally work part time, I didn't have to run away anymore. God, do you want to like nuke the area you grew up in? So when you mentioned parkour before, you were talking about that. But that probably just laid the foundation of being a gymnast. What kind of part time jobs did you do? I'll bet you probably did stuff like manual labor. Huh. <sighs> I did a lot of things. For some reason, my mom's boyfriend's always pushed me into doing weird jobs. Huh. Like. At first, one of them told me all I need to do was serve food, but I never expected them to tell me to do it like that. Pretty sure I kind of is talking about being a waitress, but... Kind of waitress. What did... Uh... Cosplay, please. Or roller skater. Did he make you cosplay? Um. Cosplay, is that taste? So, roller skater. Please don't let it be the no panties. I see. Uh, I mean, I knew it was gonna be that. But I didn't want it to be that. What? Huh, what happened? Uh, well. Well, anyways, I didn't know what to do. I mean, he told me to do it without my panties, you know? But it doesn't mean... It doesn't make sense, right? There's no way I could do something like that. Of, of course, that's good. <laughs> right? That would definitely make my stomach cold. Ugh. Okay, new mission for this game. When we get out of here... We're gonna find Akane. Whether or not Akane lives, or whether or not I live, either, we're gonna go and find out everyone that has ever hurt you, or and Mikan for that matter. And we're just gonna kill him, right? That's fine. That's fine. It, that's fine. That's that's not the issue. You. But man, you're annoying. Talking to me made me hungry. Uh, talking to you made me hungry again for some reason. <laughs> All right, I guess it's time for me to have my fourth meal. Where are you getting this food from? After she said that, Akane walked away in a hurry. What kind of past does she have? A past that I want to obliterate, to be quite honest. The part of it was the Akane decided to leave the area for now. There, there should be more time for me to move around freely. Really? Three free times in a row? 
Oh, game. Okay, I'm actually starting to like this. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna assume Shiaki just is not gonna hang out with me. Nakane is in her room. Wow, we're actually making a lot of progress. I kind of wish we could hang out with Chiaki and just finish her off, because I'm starting to get like some bad vibes they're not wanting to hang out with me, actually. But if she says she doesn't want to hang out until after we get out, that's that's fine. I'm, I'm trusting you, Chiaki. Guess I guess you just let me in now instead of knocking. Hi. I'm hungry. Just looking at the walls and making me drool. Well, I can give you some food. How about that? Huh. Talking will fill my buddy, but oh, but my buddy, my belly, but oh well. I'll give you some food. I spent time talking to Akane so we both could forget how hungry we were. And then to kind of go against what's going on in the game, I gave her some food. Have some chocolate chip jerky. Is that normal? Huh? I can really have this? All right. <sighs> Once I accept this, I'll never return to you, no matter what. Mm. Hey, you. You're like really small. Um, H Harvey. It's Hajime. <laughs> You've never had problems with my names except for when we first introduced each other. All right, that's it. I was close enough. Uh, close though. Anyways, are you even eating? I don't really have much of an appetite, but I am eating regularly. I see, then it's okay. Whenever I see small things that don't look like they're eating much, I can't help feeling worried. You haven't survived, you can't survive if you don't eat when you can, you know. Well, it's true that eating is necessary, but are you going a little overboard? Wait. Of course not, that's normal back home. Hey, Kane, I've been wondering about this for a while, but about your home. What? Uh, it's not that big of a deal. The only major difference is that I have about seven little brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ, and my parents don't work. Okay. The only thing. What the heck? So annoying. You know how every time you get a new mom or dad, you get new siblings too. Yeah, okay. That's true. Um in certain situations. But normally if you lose that new mom or dad, or if they're just a boyfriend of them, the, the, the kids don't stay. Yeah. Like, I mean, you might get close to them, sure. Well, that's, that's why I don't really know exactly how many siblings I have. That's really messed up. Then you took on a part-time job to help your family? <laughs> yep, gotta feed the little ones, you know. That's respectable. That's awesome of you. That's true. But I still want to kill... Like, all the boyfriends and probably your mom, too. Yo. When I have my waitressing gig, I sometimes steal, I mean borrow leftovers to bring home. I get paid an hourly wage and I also get tips, too, which was pretty sweet. <laughs> oh, and I got to keep my keep on my, my panties on. I didn't let the customers moan about me, either. Of, of course. Huh? Why are you mad? Oh. Oh, Akane, you don't know how actually furious I am. They're like, there are th there are a few things that will get me going. Anything involving kids is one of them. Abuse is another one. So... And technically, judging by how old you are right now, you're actually filling two slots. So... Uh -huh. I mean, you're a girl. Don't talk about keeping your panties on so casually. Oh, oh I see. Um, Sorry. No, I'm sorry, too. I shouldn't have asked such personal questions. Ah, uh, this is so awkward. Yo. Oh, I remember now. I've been yelled at like this before. Back when I was waiting tables, there was this weird old dude who used to come all the time. He was a gymnast coach. I wasn't really into sports, especially not gymnastics. Huh. But no matter how much I punched or kicked him, he was pretty persistent. In fact, he looked like he was enjoying it. He kept telling me I had an amazing body. He was seriously a gross old dude. <laughs> but thanks to him, I was able to move out with my, uh, with my siblings and find a new home for us. I see. I think that's good, though. Yeah. I think I'm gradually starting to understand Akane a little better. Unfortunately. 
I mean, I kind of figured stuff was bad by some of the comments she's made earlier throughout the story, but still. They're standing around awkwardly for a bit. I left the area. Um, what time is it now? Oh, it's nighttime. It's already 10 p.m. As I thought, I can't sense the, uh, can't get a sense of what time it is when there are no windows or Monokuma announcements. Still a little early, but I should head back to my room. Sure, we can do that. Is there anyone we can talk to? Well, everyone's in their rooms. I'm assuming you're not going to let me talk to anyone? Okay. In we go, then. Dots. I'm trying my very best not to worry, but even I have my limits. I'm hungry. I should probably eat some of the food in my pockets. Oh, I heard that! What are you gonna do? Jeez, are you whining already? It's only been your second day. It's so jeez of you to do this, that, all I can say is jeez. You should just stop being stubborn. Hurry up and start the killing already. Look, if you can get me a Connie's past stepdads or whatever the fuck they were, I'm all for it. But if you can't, then I'm gonna do it. Well, then again, that would probably kill everyone else. By probably, I mean definitely. I, I can't. Damn. Dots. What do you want? My, my, you don't even have the energy to be mad, huh? No. Well, I have good news for you guys. You've all lost your drive ever since you got uh, you guys got here, right? I like to, you have to drive an old man in his 50s. Yeah. In order for you guys to get your energies back, I'm providing a special service with all my heart. So everyone, please gather at the Grape Tower tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. 7 in the morning? There's no alarm clock in this room. Do you expect us to, how do you expect us to wake up? That's your responsibility, so you figure it out. By the way, being late is strictly prohibited. Bye-bye. Okay then, goodbye. Service, service with all your heart, huh? Dots. It's no use, my stomach feels so empty I can't stop thinking about food. I know if, I, if I know Monokuma, there's no way he'll provide that for us. Dots, damn it. Kinda wish Monami would help us, but no. I pulled up the thin covers of my futon, desperately trying to ignore my hunger pangs. I went to sleep. So Today I interviewed a random stranger on the street and asked them, what do you hate about Monokuma? Here's the results. He has a fire mouth and a terrible personality and he's a rude pig, but he's still popular despite that. He's a lazy ass who doesn't work hard at all and he's more skilled, <laughs> and yet he's more skilled and better than people who do. Not only did God give him both hands, God gave him everything. What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> he always talks crap about others, but nobody really talks crap about him. That's he, that he's willing to die to protect the women he loves. That he can't live without me. He's usually cold, cold towards me, but he can't. But he takes good care of me when I'm sick. He always slaps me around when he drinks, but afterward he cries and gently hugs me. <laughs> I hate that his job changes every time he gets a new job. What? He's extremely responsible when people, other people say things like drinks, group dates, and promotions. I hate that my daughter suddenly got curvier after he... Oh my god. I hate that my daughter suddenly got curvier after she enrolled in high uh, middle school. <laughs> Those were the results. This is troubling. Yeah, no, this is troubling. Ah, I'm so loved. I don't even think I belong. I'll belong to one person for a while. Good for you. As long as everyone knows it's an open relationship, Dot. I'm starting to feel this strange chill. Well, it's obviously must be from hunger. What time is it now? I sat up much slower than usual, then headed straight to the lounge. Dots. It's 6.30 a.m. It's a miracle I was able to wake up. As I recall, it's bad if we don't gather at the Grape Tower at 7 a.m. I don't expect much from Monokuma, but I guess I should go for now. Should I wake everyone up? I feel like that would be the responsible thing to do as someone who doesn't want anyone to die. Sonya. I don't expect much from Monokuma. Okay, sorry, Sonya. I guess fuck you. Don't be later, you're gonna probably get executed. Hey, Connie. Connie, what are you doing here? 
Well, I've been thinking about this statue. Based on my gut feeling. It's not alive or anything, but it has a strong aura. I can't think of it as a regular human aura. This thing might be the most powerful creature on the island. Starting to get yes. That sure gets me going. Is this a person? The name place says Ogre, so isn't this a statue of an ogre? All right. Ogre or whatever. It's fine as long as it's strong. Yo. Oh, looks like it's almost time. I'll head over to the Grape Tower. This sucker is a person. She's not an ogre. Hi, Chiaki. Good morning, Chiaki. Are you going to the Grape Tower? Dots. She walked by without even replying. Hey, Chiaki? I was sleeping. You were sleeping? Isn't it dangerous to sleepwalk? It is. Dots. Don't fall asleep while I'm asking you that. Morning. I'll be fine, I think. You don't look fine at all. Want to go to the Grape, ta grape Tower together? Mm. I feel fine, I think. Is she really okay? I don't think she's okay. Let's go and see what Monokuma wants. Everyone who gathered here has pale faces, especially uh. the pale people. Man, I'm tired. I'm seriously, so tired. Stop complaining. We're, we're, you're bringing me down. I mean, but I'm exhausted. Not only can we not eat, but we're being forced to come here early in the morning? This isn't about just you. We're all getting screwed here. We're getting screwed the most. Most, Mostly, uh, obviously, we're more, more tired than everyone else. I mean, we had to take the contact elevator. Oh, to get here? Oh, sure. So we had to walk all the way from Strawberry Hall to the elevator and then walk all the way here. The longer you walk, the more calories you burn. Yes, this is true. But obviously, we're more tired than you guys. Enough. Stop whining! Hey. You're fine. You don't have to worry about getting hungry since you're a robot. <laughs> I'm in a similar situation. I left my charger inside my cottage. What's this? Me? You guys are already starting to brag about how unhealthy you are. Damn it. You have a lot of nerve coming here. Um. Now that we all have gathered here so e early in the morning, what do you intend to make us do this time? No, no. I just want to make everyone healthy again. Healthy. Hey, hey. You're losing your drive because you're burning rubber down the unhealthy highway, right? <laughs> I'm offering the service so you can all feel healthy again. So, Yahoo! from this day forward, I'd like to make Monokuma Tai Chi part of your daily routine every morning. M Monokuma Tai Chi. All right, start the music. <sighs> make optimal use of Earth's gravity and release yourself from the tension of your conscious self. Huh, okay, so he's making us burn more calories. C, two. Control your breathing. Slowly. At least <sighs> Nakamura and Nakane are into it. As if you're drawing a circle. Two. Yeah. Naturally, just as you are. Relax. This is clearly affecting my hunger. Why exactly do we have to do this? Hey, over there. Don't dawdle. Phew. Huh, we sure worked up a good sweat. Staying healthy is definitely super important. Oh, fuck mm -hmm. off. We did a bunch of pointless exercise thanks to you, and now we're hungrier than ever. I, I can't move. The road to good health is not an easy one. It might be painful, but we'll do this again tomorrow. Unless something big happens, I won't allow any tardies or uh, absences. Uh, make sure you remember that. That is. You intend to keep making us do this. Damn it. Guys, I I don't think I'm gonna last till tomorrow. Damn it. Enough already. How much longer is this going to last? This is troubling. Didn't he say until the killing starts? This too must be the will of causality. It seems the plausibility of those words is finally starting to affect us. If this persists any longer, it wouldn't surprise me if something really did happen. Damn it! I, I don't want to die in a place like this. If I'm going to die in a place like this, I, I might as well... What are you saying? Calm down. Shut up! Shut up! I can't fucking calm down! Damn it! There's no food! There's no way to escape! If this goes on, everyone's going to starve to death. Hey! Wait, are you telling us just to wait until we starve to death? I'd rather have that happen to us than have our friends kill each other. Huh? Uh, 
Do you mean that you'd rather die? Huh? I get it. You're just saying that because you're the traitor. What? You're planning us to make us all weak so you can kill us all. What are you saying? Hey! Fess up. You're secretly getting food from your future foundation buddies, haven't you? No, I got it in my pocket. And I've been given to it Akane. I, I swear you better. So... Making a scene is just going to make us hungrier. So let us calm down for now. <laughs> You're right. Even if you guys fight, our situation isn't going to change. It appears you cannot escape. Wait to die from impending starvation or wait for someone to kill someone else before that happens. At any rate, it's a rather difficult situation. I... Which... It's the true hope. Which is the true hope? I'll just follow what everyone else decides. <laughs> if you're going to choose, you should hurry. The longer we keep waiting, the closer we get to death. The conversation ended there. It seems nobody had the energy to keep talking or arguing. So we silently left the Grape Tower. I think I already know what's going to happen, but I'll wait till it actually happens. I'm just standing. But I feel dizzy. The sense of balance, my sense of balance is off. It's like I'm rocking a boat or something. That doesn't mean I should just stay put. If I just leave this matter alone, something bad might happen. It's not like I'm worried, but I should go see how everyone's doing. Free time. All right. Hey, Nekomaru. Yeah. I see two things happening here. But I'm not going to talk about it until it actually happens. Um, but yeah, we can't... Obviously, if we can't find a way out, we're going to starve or die of dehydration. Now, obviously, we don't want that. Chiaki doesn't want to hang out still. That's fine. Let's go to Akane and see what's going on there. Oh shit, wait a minute. You think if we get... Another one after this, are we gonna be done? Yeah! Holy crap, actually. That's if we get another one after this. Normally there's at least two, but we got three last time, so there might only be one today. <sighs> I'm hanging out with you if you feed me something. If you don't have any food, then I'm good for now. I have... I'm mad! I have food, though! I have food! I literally have food game! Oh, son of a bitch. So the two people that I want to hang out with, I can't. Okay. Here's the thing, Akane, because you're being mean right now, I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna eat this food in front of you. Cronus, that would make you look like the traitor and an asshole. I know, but she should hang out with me because I could give her food. Doesn't make any sense gameplay-wise, sure, but... Boo! I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So, Chiaki doesn't want to hang out with me. Kazuichi's kind of, like, pissing me off. Nagito's definitely already pissed me off a few times. I know he helped us in the last case, but at the same time... Gundam, Nekomaru... I'm gonna say I probably won't hang out with Nekomaru, though. Fuyuhiko... Sonya. Really, it comes down to Sonya or Fuyuhiko, yeah. That's assuming they're gonna hang out with me. Um. This sucks. I really want to hang out with these two. You know what? I'll decide next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you have my videos, I can check out some of the content. See if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.